Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a little different. Um, basically, I'm just gonna explain to you guys some stuff. So, I'm on the hunt to find a stuffed animal. The same one as him. Obviously, it doesn't have this body, but it does have this head and the arms, and this is what the leg looks like, and it has a tail. I am on the hunt to find one that looks exactly like he used to because he's pretty old. I've had him for a while. I got him at the fair when I was about four and my dog ate him so that's why his body looks like this. My parents actually stayed up sewing his body and decorating him for me. They used a towel replace the parts that they didn't have but they managed to get the head two arms one of the legs and the tail back from the dog so yeah now his body was obviously the same as his head he was a lot fluffier than this and he was white believe it or not well like a white and gray and I'm on the hunt to find one exactly like him because this one's pretty old and I mean, Michael's offered to like re-sew it and everything for me and redo a body for him. But, you know, I want to have one of the original ones as well for just memories because this thing, this was my first best friend, you know. I told like all my secrets to this thing. His name's Stuffy. Um, you know, I was a socially awkward kid. I didn't have much friends because, um, you know, I just wasn't into, like, socializing. I mean, my parents, they used to fight when I was growing up. So, like, I had, like, separation anxiety from them because I thought that if I was to have friends go over to my friends' houses, then they'd essentially just leave me. So I had really bad separation anxiety, so I never had friends growing up. Um, and this was the only thing I had, and I had a doll named Hershey. But, you know, this is the only thing I have left. I don't have Hershey anymore, I wish I did. You know, that had sentimental values too. Basically, it was just your normal baby doll but I had a belly shirt that said Hershey's on it. And it used to have brown eyes, but then my uncle slapped it in the back of the head so hard that one of the eyes fell out. So it had one brown eye and one blue eye because we couldn't find the other brown eye, so he put a blue eye in. So that had sentimental value just as much as Stuffy because my uncle, he also bought Stuffy for me. And my uncle passed away in 2008 I think so like you know again not having any friends growing up and then like you know just having somebody in my family buy these for me when I was little having them as my only friend and basically you know, when my uncle passed away, I wasn't ready to accept the fact that, you know, he passed away. So, like, now I don't sleep with Stuffy anymore like I used to when I was little. I mean, in 2008, it wasn't, I was older. I was older in 2008 than I was when I got him. So, I kind of leaned away from having him. And like in 2008, after my uncle passed away, that's when he made a return into my life. Like I was just like, my uncle passed away. This is the only thing I have left to remember him. Because yeah, I don't remember what happened to Hershey, but it was given away or something. And I don't care about that because I mean, it did have sentimental value, but like Stuffy was my number one and like, so, when my uncle passed away in 2008, I was just like, this is the only thing I have to remember him by. I have to take care of it. I have to, you know, do all that. Again, that was after my dog ate it, but hey, that's all right. 
and my parents stayed up, stayed up sewing it um, for me. And just like, now I'm on the quest to find an original one that looks exactly like he used to, just to have, because you know, I'm worried that this might never be around forever. And as much as I hate to say it, because it does mean a lot to me and everything, but it's so brittle and Michael, he offered to fix it, but I just, you know, I might let him fix it, but even then, eventually it will get old again. And like, especially if I have kids and pass it down to my kids, it's gonna have a lot of wear and tear and eventually it's just gonna give in the whole part because see, you can fix the body and everything. The body and one of the foot, are not original, so you can fix that. But what happens when the head and the arms and the original foot and tail start to get worn out and brittle? You, I, there's no point fixing it because then it won't be original anymore. And that's what I'm kind of afraid of. And so I want to get one that looks just like him. That way, when it comes down to him not being good anymore, I'll still have that to remind me of a little bit. Does that make sense? Because you can tell me that I'm childish and crazy, but you know, sentimental values, they stay with you. Memories stay with you for hopefully ever. And that's a memory. You know, that has sentimental value to me and that's way more important than anything else. So I don't even care. I'd pay as much as I had to pay to get one like him. I mean, he was only four bucks back then, so it's probably only like a dollar now. I don't know, unless it was a vintage thing. I don't even remember what kind, what brand he is. I mean, he came in a plastic bag, and I, I don't remember what the brand was, so I, I don't know where to start, guys. I've been typing in white cat stuffed animals, but then they don't only show you the ones that look like a cat, but he didn't look like a cat when I got him. He was sitting like this, and like he had the same body as his head and everything, so I don't know. I don't know what to type in. I'm lost, guys. But anyway, sorry, guys. Um, I just wanted to talk about it a little bit, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and hearing my little pathetic story. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. <sighs> Bye guys. Mm -hmm.